Now for the late Princess Diana's former butler and rock, Paul Burrell. And according to a royal insider, Meghan Markle was, quote, knocked sideways and received a brutal reality check after she was dumped and labelled a grifter by the streaming giant Spotify. And speaking to Closer magazine about how she'll respond to the PR crisis, the insider said her team have warned her that there's no future with Harry and that she needs to start working on her individual projects rather than be being seen as one half of Brand Sussex. They feel that if Meghan does more on her own, she'll have more opportunities to save her career. This follows reports that Harry could go it alone to film a Netflix documentary in Africa, the continent where he and Meghan famously shared their third date. Paul Burrell, great to have you on the show. With both individuals pursuing solo projects, there's clearly trouble in paradise. Well, Mark, quite frankly, the bosses of Netflix and Spotify have given them a reality check because not everybody is interested in Harry and Meghan. And it's becoming quite clear now that their brand is suffering and they need to rebrand um, and survive. Uh, Meghan is a survivor and she's a very calculating woman and she's a networker so what will she do next i think personally that um, it's her turn harry has done his book he's been to the coronation and he's been seen across the world as a court case it's now megan's turn to get into the pole position so she has to utilize the knowledge that she has in the film and um, entertainment industry by being an actress in, in suits and go into movies and the fashion and beauty industry, I think. Uh, but it, it's a sad truth that they had the world at their feet five years ago and now it seems to be slipping away from them. I personally think that they should get off their backsides and do something for other people instead of always doing things for themselves. Look at Kate and William. They are doing their public duty brilliantly. And if only they could be a shadow of Kate and William and go back to Africa and help people who have nothing, then I think they would gain some respect in the world. But quite frankly, right now, um, people aren't particularly bothered and it's Meghan's way and Harry's way and it's their truth that matters most and I think you know um, it's time to reassess the situation. Uh, Meghan Markle has a long history of dumping people who have served their purpose mm. her ex-husband her first husband Piers Morgan Lizzie Cundy even her own father Thomas Markle do you think eventually mm -hmm. she'll do that to old Harry? Well, do you know what, Mark? Uh, my belief is that it, this is all going to end in tears. I do believe that eventually Harry will have served his purpose and Meghan will move on because she has before and she'll probably move on to a billionaire next time round who can support her in the lifestyle to which she's accustomed already. Um, she already has two children who are a prince and princess. So Harry should look very closely at this and think, well, What's going to happen to me next? I honestly think that the British people would welcome Harry back, and certainly his brother would, and that would actually solve the situation and the rift which has grown between Harry and William. But if Harry comes back to Britain, he'll certainly be coming alone because I don't think that the British people are ready to welcome Meghan back. How long do you give the couple? I, I always thought about 10 years. And I think it's a sad indictment that we're all saying, oh, that's not going to last. And But that's just, you know, it's only Harry that doesn't know this. Everybody else realizes that this is going to end in tears. But Harry's the, the last person that's actually going to know this. And the sadness is, of course, he'll have to leave his children behind because mm -hmm. they'll stay with their mother. But there will always be a place in William's heart for his brother their mother would be devastated to think there was such a rift growing between those two boys because those two boys were joined at the hip. And I don't want to see Harry with his heart broken again, but I do think it's inevitable. 
Now, Paul, on this very show, the Mail on Sunday's editor-at-large, Charlotte Griffiths, gave a bombshell mm -hmm. revelation about Prince William during the time of Harry and Meghan's infamous Oprah interview. Take a look. Mm. The lead-up to that Oprah interview, William was quite literally sick with worry. Mm. He was not eating. He became kind of not reclusive, but he definitely was hiding away. He'd gone to a royal residence for a period of time to just cut himself off from the world. And he was just in bits, basically. Of course, since then, William and Harry have been at war and Jenny Bond, a former royal correspondent who met Princess Diana many times before her death, has said Diana would be the only person who could fix the rift between her sons. Paul, it's terrible to hear those anecdotes about what William has been through, uh, you know, just reduced to tears in bits. Are you surprised by just how painful it's been for William, a young man that you know so well? No, I'm not, because those two boys were very, very close, inseparable at one stage, and along came Meghan, and then it changed. Um, Jenny's quite right. Jenny did meet the princess on several occasions, and Jenny's right in saying that it's only Diana that could have actually pulled them back together again. Um, I, d I think this, this relationship, I think the boys themselves, the, the, their relationship is irreparable. I, I don't think it's going to be mended anytime soon because there's been far too much hurt. And Harry has thrown his entire family under the bus. He's thrown grenades into the heart of the House of Windsor. And they, they don't want to forgive him because he's caused a lot of distress to his brother, to his father, to his sister-in-law. And if they invite Harry and Meghan back into their fold, it'll only give them more stories to write about and to tell in America. Because let's, let's just get down to the nitty gritty because Meghan and Harry, their biggest USP is being royal.